I swear I knocked something off this Christmas tree every time I walk past it. I'll deal with that later. I'm going out in a few minutes. The other day, on Sunday in fact, I had a very impulsive moment. I was walking through town doing some bits of shopping. I wasn't vlogging on Sunday. And I was walking right past my optician and it was virtually empty in there and the staff looked like they needed something to do. <laughs> and so I thought, right, very vocals. And so I went in and made an appointment to be sort of, I don't know, a consultation about getting very focals today in about 15 minutes actually. So I'm gonna be leaving the house shortly for that. Very excited. I've reached absolute end of the road now with long distance glasses and reading glasses. The absolute worst thing for me is being able to focus on the monitor on the camera because I can't with these glasses on. So I'm constantly taking them on and off all the time to see if it's in focus. I'm pressing the thing to focus it. And then when I put the glasses on, it confuses the camera. It doesn't know what it's supposed to be focusing on anymore. So I have to reset it. I'm trying to do it at arm's length and it's just not working. But it's not just that, it's other things as well. When I'm eating my dinner, I look down at my food with these on and I can't focus on the food. And like my eyes are trying to compensate and it's hurting almost like it's uncomfortable. And then when I look over at, at my boyfriend, if I haven't got these on, he's out of focus. So even just eating a meal sociably is ruined <laughs> without very focal. So it really is the time. That's just one other example of many, many, many. I am expecting that I'm going to take a while to get used to them, honestly, because I've heard many people saying that you can see some kind of warped perspective a bit of certain things at certain distances, but I'll be able to tell you all about that when I'm experiencing it for myself very soon. On the rare occasions I sit here, I have a bit of a funny, entertaining thing happening because that letterbox, I'm going to try and zoom on this very unzoomy camera, but look, it kind of, it's like a, a Hall of Mirrors show, look. <laughs> and it really amuses me. Sometimes I sit here and make faces at myself in it. I wonder if I'm ever going to grow out of any of that kind of stuff. I still do it. <laughs> I am back and my poor bank account is about 200 quid lighter. I did not go for the top range but I went for fairly close to the top. Apparently you get like two areas on either side of your vision that are blurry as an inevitable consequence of the way the lenses have to be constructed. He was showing me a monitor screen with lots of different sort of setups of where the different focal lengths are, if that's the right terminology. But there were these two sort of areas either side of the screen like that. But are blurry! <laughs> but anyway, apparently you get a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you just personally don't get on with them, you can go and have a full refund. So that is quite comforting because I've known quite a few people say that they just couldn't get on with their very focals. Some people love them, some people hate them. I met somebody the other day who said he had very focal contact lenses and they were amazing. He said it's reading around the outside and main, was it reading around? Yeah, reading around the outside and main focus, like distance focus in the middle and he said they were excellent. But I just, I can't bring myself to put anything on my eyeballs, I'm too squeamish. Maybe it will come to it, maybe I will need to man up at some point, but not yet. It's actually 20 past 12 at the moment. I'm actually a bit behind with today's vlog, so I need to go and work on that. And there's no excuse really, because I had a day of filming, so I should have easily been able to do it. But the thing is, is this Omicron thing coming towards us, it's hard to come to terms with, and it's been making me preoccupied and distracted, and so I've actually found it quite hard to settle to my normal editing routine. And I expect many of you feel the same. So, I think it's harder to come to terms with the unknown because we don't know what we're coming to terms with because it might be absolutely awful as they're predicting or as other people are predicting that I follow it might not be that bad it just depends how severe it is but I've heard reports that it's it's nowhere near as severe as the Delta but we'll see won't we we just don't know and it was really weird as well for me after that gig because it was quite, you know, you get a high when you do a gig. You contribute to a big social gathering full of people. You help to create a focal focus, like a focal point for everybody to unite with. And it does, it gives you a buzz, it gives you a buzz to see them all enjoying themselves and you feel, oh, I don't know, I was part of that. It feels rewarding. And then, like, we came home 
and all of us at the end, like, we're like, oh, can't see us doing our next few bookings, it might be a while. And so it was weird editing it as well, because I felt like I was editing something that was in the past already, and not going to be our present for a while, but I could be wrong. I suppose they're just going to look at the hospital admissions, aren't they, and how the health services are coping. I think that's going to be it, rather than infection numbers, but I could be wrong. Who knows? It's two o'clock now, <laughs> I'm going out in a minute. Ever since this whole Omicron thing, you know, everyone's just like... Ever since then, I've just had a great urge to get out walking, just on my own, and it's kind of, I don't know, it's like it's shaking down all the mixed up thoughts and helping them to process somehow. I don't know if it actually is, but I feel like doing it. I've just eaten lunch. My vlog is nearly exported, so once that is, I'm gonna set that off to upload and then I'm gonna go for a walk and finish it off when I get back. Izzy is breaking up from college tomorrow, so last day. Don't think it's gonna be online yet. Now, I had some feedback about Isabel's octopus tree topper, because I was saying it needed eyes. Well, Alex McCleary in the comments said, it doesn't need eyes because it is in fact blinking. That's why you can't see them. So, perfect. Oh, today's wash load is just finished. Oh. Or maybe not. It's flashing. I'm being impatient. That's just finished as well. My robots have been at work for me. Oh, oh, I heard a click. <laughs> Yay. I'm not going to hang it out now, though. I'll do it after I get back. And speaking of my robots, let's see if the computer robot has finished exporting my vlog yet. I had trouble with it, actually. Yes, it has. Hooray. Good, good. Right, let's set this off then. <sighs> right. Upload video, select file. It was glitching earlier, it took me many, many attempts to export my file actually. I'm gonna have to just do something to it a minute. Right, this will be boring to watch. I'll see you in the park. I still haven't gone to the park. I'm fully anticipating a copyright claim on the video that I'm just uploading now because there was a song in it. It's a bit, it's like, shaky ground really. There's a lot of background noise and uh, he was singing with a mask on so he's really really muffly so you can't really hear the melody very well. It's checking, it's on 36%, 37%. See the ad revenue, you know I got copyright claimed for Gal Day Tay which was written hundreds of years ago so I thought I'd be alright with that. Well I wasn't and they take a percentage off you if you've used their material. And well, I don't know what percentage they was. Now normally my vlogs they only make me three or four pounds per video anyway, you know, in the first week or so. Uh and I've basically been allowed to keep nine pence out of that video. So that's a big, big percentage of the revenue given the hours and hours of work that I've put into making the video. That's probably, you know, two or three hours of editing went into it, plus the filming plus all this stuff that you do afterwards, you know, I'm probably looking at three hours work plus filming and then I'll get 9p and they get the rest. I mean, the thing is, I'm at such a low level that if I just accept this now and say, all right, well, you have the money then, it's only going to cost me three or four pounds, so that's the positive way to look at it because if I was a bigger YouTuber, I might be talking losing more money, so in which case I'd be re-editing it and just taking that out. But I want to leave it in because it's my friend singing the song and I like it. <laughs> and I liked the irony that he was still, you know, we're in this flipping situation now, Covid's raging again, everybody's just dreading this tsunami coming and he's just sitting there with his mask on singing a wombling Christmas at the top of his voice, happy as you like. <laughs> it's um... Yeah, I definitely want to keep it in. I think it's kind of, you know, interesting juxtaposition. It's artistic reasons, darling. 72%, 73. <sighs> there is a thing called fair use as well, you see, where you, if you recombine it with other elements to kind of change the meaning on it, it's considered not a breach of copyright. It's a very grey area, isn't it? So it kind of is, because it's, you know, in that context and this time, context in time as well, of what we're all facing now. 80%. 85, come on, come on, don't do this to me, the torture. 87. 96%. 97. 98. Oh, I don't know if I want to look. 99. 
check's still running. What do you mean checks are still running? <laughs> it takes longer if there's music in it. It's like thinks about it for longer. If I just do a daily uh, vlog of me just chit chatting like this, it's just like processed really quickly. But this is like I'll get a notification to my phone if I uh, if, I, if I'm in trouble. Right, it could be here sometime. Perhaps I just need to go to the park. Things I'm, I can't. Should I re-edit it? I don't want to though. It's like a three quid. I just think I won't re-edit it. I'll just take the pain. Well, the YouTube gods must be smiling on me today because I have managed to not get a copyright claim on yesterday's video. And I'm so happy right now for that. I'm thirsty. I've got a can of pop in my bag. As I do, that's my park treat that is I come yomping up the hill super fast get all hot and sweaty and then think oh I just love a lovely chilled drink right now and ta -da, there it is in the bag actually it's not in my bag it's in my pocket because I didn't want to put it next to my camera in case it got condensation on it and made the camera wet so now I'm dropping my umbrella because I'm trying to hold the camera and the umbrella in one hand so a lot of quacking going on here Oh, somebody is advancing on me. Yes, you. I haven't got anything for you, I'm afraid. So many people come and feed the birds and the squirrels in the park at the moment, don't they? So you just think anybody is going to feed you. And they, they literally come towards you, even the squirrels do now. I think it's happened really during the pandemic. People have been lonely and isolated. So they've come to commune with the animal folk instead. Yes. I'm going back now. It's starting to rain a bit heavier again. My camera's getting wet. It's the evening now. I've been getting on with all my usual sort of stuff this afternoon and just not vlogging it. Look what I've been getting back into. Wanted to pretend I was at the seaside last night, didn't I? So I carried on with this puzzle that I started absolutely ages ago. I haven't got that far with it yet, but beach huts are starting to form. They remind me of my Isle of Wight vlog they do because there were loads of beach huts in that vlog. That was the closest thing we had to a holiday this year. It was very brief indeed, but I did manage to vlog it. I'll link it in the uh, description actually, if you like. If you wanna pretend you're in the Isle of Wight with us for a day or two. And speaking of jigsaws, I bought myself one from a charity shop when I was out today. I must be going mad. I think it's this Omicron, it's making me do weird things, like impulse buy things. I think it is the Omicron, it's, it's like causing a squirrelling effect. So for two pounds today, I got this rather lovely 500 piece puzzle. The village tea rooms, lovely old fashioned vehicle there. I wonder when that's set, 1950s do we think? What do you reckon? While I'm confessing to my impulse purchasing that I've done over the last couple of days, I've also impulse purchased this from Lidl. So I was in Lidl yesterday when I wasn't vlogging. Got some new scales because I've just, we've broken our ones. I don't know what happened to them. They just stopped working. It's not the battery. So at long, long last, we now hopefully have some functioning ones. Another purchase I've made is more masks because they just disappear. I don't know where they are. They're probably going the same place as the odd socks. They're probably in a giant, massive moundy lump in a sewer somewhere causing a blockage. Anyway, these look quite nice. They claim to be three layer. They look like two layer, but the description says they're three, so presumably they are. And modelling the latest mask. It's me, Imo. <laughs> they're quite loose. I mean, they stay in place. I haven't washed them yet, mind. It could all change once they've been through the wash because you never know if things are going to shrink, do you? But they're actually really big. Uh, they go right under your chin, which is good. I quite like a bit of ample coverage myself. So yeah, they're quite a lot of nice different patterns. It was about £12 something for a packet of 10, so I think that's pretty reasonable. I should probably get them out to show you because you can't see them properly through this cellophane. I'll do that. Here they are all laid out. Now I was gonna say they're kind of a different texture and that they're linen-y. Like definitely this one is kind of coarser texture on the outside, not the inside because it's just cotton on the inside, I believe. These ones aren't, these are like cottony all the way through. It just kind of depends. So they are actually different materials rather than the same material with different prints. I dare say everybody is having the same issue all around the country with their disappearing masks. Um, here's another impulse purchase I made. No fog wipes for the glasses. And I can tell you they do work until it rains on your lenses and then you have to wipe them with your t-shirt. 
then it like takes all the coating off again so yeah but it did really really work like magic but they're expensive it was six pounds something in the opticians i was using like washing up liquid or a bit of spit or something and it was working but since i paid the extra for the special non-reflective coating on the lenses you know so it minimizes the light reflection that you see when i'm <laughs> filming myself um i'm just i'm really worried about taking that coating off and the optician warned me not to do it definitely don't put washing up liquid on it he said so i haven't been but anyway look we had another christmas card today can I open it with one hand? That's the question. Without paper cutting under my fingernail. The answer is no. It's from one of our neighbours. There we are. I'm absolutely sure. I'll just take a sneaky peek. Yes, it's from the neighbours across the way. So that's nice. More examples of impulse buying has been the enormous online shop I have coming tomorrow. But to be fair, every so often I do an enormous online shop full of heavy things, multiple items that are heavy, like soy milks, tin tomatoes, big crates of pop, that kind of thing. So that is coming from Sainsbury's. And I haven't had a Sainsbury's delivery in the whole of the pandemic, because right at the start of it, I just couldn't get a slot because they were reserving it for vulnerable people. And of course I wasn't, so I couldn't get one, but I can now, so I am. And that's coming tomorrow. And I need to end this vlog because I've rambled on a lot this evening. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching it and if you are new here do feel free to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. If you like the video do feel free to give it a like because it really helps this channel to grow, helps boost it in the rankings, makes it more likely to come up as a suggested video and thus helps the channel to grow. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!